briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1868, the Supreme Court of the United States heard Ex Parte McArdle, a case that centered on the court's jurisdiction to hear specific types of cases and Congress's ability to limit the cases considered by the court. In this situation, Congress passed a law preventing the Supreme Court from hearing the appeal in question. The case involved a habeas corpus appeal, and the Supreme Court needed to establish whether it had the authority to hear the case before discussing any other issues. The 1867 Act, which repealed the provision affirming the Supreme Court's appellate jurisdiction in habeas corpus cases, directly impacted the petitioner's appeal. The Chief Justice wrote the majority opinion, clarifying that the Supreme Court's appellate jurisdiction comes from the Constitution, subject to exceptions and regulations made by Congress. The Court previously examined the matter, concluding that the appellate powers of the Supreme Court are limited and regulated by the Constitution and the Judicial Act. Acts of Congress providing jurisdiction are considered as granting jurisdiction rather than making exceptions to the constitutional grant. Due to the 1867 Act, the Court dismissed the petitioner's appeal for lack of jurisdiction. The Court, defining jurisdiction as the power to declare the law, stated that when jurisdiction ceases to exist, dismissing the cause is the only remaining function. Consequently, the appeal was dismissed for want of jurisdiction. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.